Hi, I'm Kate Rice. I'm a behavior consultant with Breton Oven Associates. Like many of you, I've been jumping into the ACT literature. I've been reading anything I can get my hands on to learn more about it. It's fascinating, and for me, it's been really life-changing. I also recently got my yoga teacher certification, which is a huge milestone for me. It's something I've always wanted to do. Maybe you're a lifelong yogi, maybe you've taken a class or two, or maybe you think yoga is just stretching with cool music. The Yoga Alliance defines yoga as a system not of beliefs, but of techniques and guidance for enriched living, which is achieved through movement, meditation, and mindfulness. I've been nerding out just a little bit because surprisingly, or maybe not, I've discovered a few parallels between two totally different fields. One of these parallels is the concept of values. In yoga, we identify and attempt to live in alignment with our values as opposed to our goals in order to achieve a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Sound familiar? According to contextualscience.org, values are chosen qualities of purposive action that can never be obtained by an object, but can be instantiated moment by moment. I love it. While it may seem simple, in the beginning, I actually had quite a bit of difficulty identifying what my values were because I was constantly getting tripped up between a value versus a goal. Once I broke it down though, through a quick exercise, I was able to identify what my values were, and it was really rewarding because I was able to start living in alignment with those and see what really mattered to me. So for you, I'm gonna show you a quick little exercise that you can do on your own or with a friend or partner um, to identify what your potential values are. So let's get started. So this exercise is strictly an exercise that I use personally to help identify what my values are. It's not a behavioral strategy, it's an act strategy. It's really just something that you can use informally to help you identify what your own values are. And what we're gonna do first is list out any kind of words that speak to you that could be a potential value for you or somebody else. It doesn't have to be so specific to you right now. So I just pulled this out and I jotted down a whole bunch of different values. So I've got loyalty, honesty, growth, service, love, adventure, kindness, community, balance, curiosity, anything. So you can use these words as a starting point for you um, and just jot them all down. It's kind of just like free write, word flow, let it all come out, okay? From there, once you've got like a nice big list that you feel like you've gotten um, everything out, you're gonna start to circle the ones that are meaningful to you. So like for me, balance, um, a sense of community, health, um, connection, challenge, honesty, like anything that, that is meaningful to you. From there, you're gonna flip over, grab yourself a new page so you can just tear this off so you can see it. You're gonna start to group the ones that are related in the same group. So you're gonna choose up to five different groups. Don't go more than five, have anywhere from three to five different groups. If you start having too many different values, it's hard to hold yourself accountable. So really stick to three to five to begin with. So for example, I grouped together connection, family, love, friendship, and community. Because the way I see those, they're all important to me and they all go together. Over here I've got rest, health, wellness, fitness, because to me, those are all important, but they all are kind of connected in a certain way. So you're gonna do this for anywhere from three to five different groups. And after that, what you're going to do is you're going to choose the word or a word that encompasses all of those. So for example, for me, for this group here, I might choose a sense of connection as my, my big value to encompass family, love, friendship, community. That might be what my value is. Or for example, on this side, we've got rest, health, wellness, fitness. I might choose to identify wellness as my overall value to focus on because I feel like it encompasses all of those things. So you're gonna do this until you've got anywhere from three to five values that you feel like are meaningful to you. You can do it as individual values, but you can also do it as relationship values with your partner, or you can even do it with relation to money. Anything in your life that 
you feel like you'd like to live according to certain values, go ahead and do this exercise. My partner and I just did this exercise ourselves in how our values are related to our money and it was really, really powerful and I'm hoping that it will provide for us a strong foundation for the two of us. So I encourage you guys to do this exercise with yourselves, do it with your partners and figure out what your values are. Leave your comments and questions below and we can keep the conversation going.